all know, excuse me, ladies, welcome to the show, episode number 42. I am Eva Eckert, and I am your host. I help women create better discipline, energy, and confidence in their lives so they can stop making excuses and take massive action in their mind, body, and business, and nutrition so they can become happier, healthier, and more congruent with their mission. This show is for everyone. For those of you who are a badass and want to share your fire of desire to inspire others, and those of you who want to become a badass in real life and learn how the No Excuses Mindset helped me and my freak family to achieve success in those four areas of our life, which is mind, body, business, and relationships, because this is super important. By having me as your accountability coach, you will be able to finally discover the power of self-belief and self-discipline, internal motivation so you can stop making excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. Will you take the necessary steps to implement what I'm teaching you? It's totally up to you. But take the responsibility today, take the ownership today, so you can really make no excuses and live your life on your own terms. So welcome to the show. And again, episode 42, guys. So thank you so much for actually coming on, giving me your time. I am here on different social media. That's why you see me going here, going there, going here. I look everywhere just to make sure that I see if you guys making any comments. Of course, participation. I love participation. I love when you guys making asking me questions and being active because that's what it's all about activity here just asking questions so today we'll be talking about the willpower and really how willpower runs on emotions but not only that i'm gonna share with you what i did just recently and what i did was i did fasting now have you ever any of you have you ever done fasting before i mean the fasting we're going back into uh, there is a religious fasting, right? It's it's really the fasting is a, a practice that dates that they uh, goes back centuries and and plays role in many cultures and religions. And some people do that all the time. But we're talking about like just regular not eating food for twenty four hours. That's what I did, and I have to tell you, this was my first time doing fasting like this when I was just drinking water, as I always drink water. I did not consume any food at this time. So I started, I set my 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 mind to do it from 7 p.m. till 7 p.m. the next day. That was my goal because that's when I, uh, when I st- stopped eating and I went over to the next day. Now, what I did, why I did that? Uh, to challenge myself. I read a little bit about fasting and I know that my friends doing fasting and this became popular and I see some people, some of my friends do it not only 24 hours, some of them do it 36 hours, some of them doing intermittent fasting. And for me, it was a little controversial because peak physique, uh, if you know me as a coach, we, uh, we we had a very, very successful seven-figure business called Peak Physique NY, and now we are only online. We had two locations, and what we were teaching at Peak was all about constant and constant food, meaning eating every two, three hours to speed up your metabolism, right? So me going into fasting with something that we never really preach. And also what I realized through course of uh, coaching people for many, many years, uh, that when people would come to me and sit at a consultation with me, and they would talk about, and they were usually overweight people, we're talking about 300 pounds, 350 pounds, on the heavier side and they if they would tell me that they would not be eating foods at all and they would have one meal a day that was right there uh, a red light for us that this person is totally storing fat so what i would teach them to eat every two three hours and we had cases when people would lose over 100 pounds with us between the time of nine months to a year that's a huge achievement, guys. So for me, doing actually fasting was something that I would not agree with. I was be a very hesitant, but I gave myself a chance. So if you guys ever done it and what was your actual 
experience, please write it down. I would love to hear from you. And again, I did this for a challenge, not necessarily for the benefits of it, but we will discuss the benefits, what really the fasting is. And what I want to underline is that what we believe, what I believe doing this once in a while, just to kind of reset yourself, absolutely. But when people constantly do this over and over again, like these cases show them show itself that not eating for a longer period of time does not have this good benefits because your metabolism is supposed to be raised every two, three hours when you have the stability of the insulin level, right? And even going back uh, to my childhood, and of course, I went through anorexia. If you know my story, if you didn't, I was anorexic. So I did not eat for, uh, I, I, I limited myself with food for a long time and it was not healthy. I lost a lot of weight. I still was eating, but not eating a lot. And even meeting some of my mom friends that were overweight, there were the people that would just totally not eat and eat one meal a day. And then I remember that one lady that she started eating often and her metabolism totally changed. So those are the things that I learned from my life, you know, like eating two, three hours speeds up your metabolism. And that's what we preach. And that's how we live our life. But we eat healthy. Our freak family eats very healthy and you don't know what healthy is. You can send me a message. I'll be more than happy to give you some points and how to break down and how much protein you should be eating a day and what's the carbs and what's the fats. It's all been uh, powered by our case studies and thousands and thousands of people that we trained. And I am here to help you at any way I can. So uh, please, if you feel stuck, if you don't know what to do, you need to send me a message. But what is really fasting? So we're going to go over into this stuff that I did and benefits of fasting. So listen to this. This is very, very interesting. Obviously, it says that it's AIDS in weight loss. And the, the reason for it, because the, the studies, again, the studies show that around the hour of between 14 and 16 uh, hour, your body starts metabolizing the fat. And the, the reason for it is that because the glycogen stored from carbs, right, is depleted and the insulin level reduced. So that's how you will be burning fat. Now, what else is there? Fights inflammation, uh, improves cardiovascular health. Uh, did you know that heart disease is a leading cause uh, in death? It's 30.1.5% globally. That's what it says. So think about it. Like, okay, ooh, there are some benefits. They've been studying that, that, that done, and I pulled this from the web just to give you an idea. Fight cancer because why? If you don't eat, you don't deliver sugars in your body. So, and, 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 and cancer lives on sugar, right? If you've been re reading a lot about cancer, that's what it is. Improves memory, memory function, brain function, increases growth hormone. And let me tell you how growth hormone is released and how growth hormone is actually pushed in your body. By lifting weights, by doing high intensity training. That's when your growth hormone is pushed to the levels. That's how you become faster, stronger, leaner. That's what the peak physique was all about. And the operate to dominate new program that we have online is the same. You're doing the online workouts, but you get uh, the, the faster pace for 60 minutes. It's not 30 minutes. It's 60 minutes. So you have actually a moment to take a break, sip some water. So that's what we preach, 60 minutes. And that's how you... Uh, push your metabolism and increase the muscle strength. So here it's proven that was the same. So th those are very interesting uh, facts. And of course, help us to live longer because think about it. If you, if you have better cardiovascular health, if you speed up your metabolism, uh, you become younger. By people, just in generally, by people, think about it. So many times you can see someone that looks like this, usually a person that doesn't do the self-care and eats healthy looks older. It's always like this. I've met many people that looked so much older 
in the meantime, they were just young people or younger people. And, and the reason for it is because the excess of fat. And the moment the person starts losing the weight, their face uh, looks better and they look much younger. So think about it. When you lose the weight, you look much younger, right? So those are, those are the benefits. So it's worth to think about it. You don't need to necessarily, obviously, always ask your physician, always talk to your doctor, especially for older adults. It's recommended if you will do any fasting, don't do it on your own unless you are maybe a physically fit individual that has been training. That's how I, I, I felt totally confident in doing this. And I did it for a challenge is if you know our family, Peak Freak family, we do these crazy challenges. We do 24 hour challenges and I didn't feel scared at all. I just went for it. And that's what the life is all about to just kind of trying to do different things and pushing yourself and challenging yourself and feeling like you're alive. So every week should be something that would give you an idea of, okay, what did I learn? How I lived my life this week and what what the new things are that I learn, right? So let me tell you how it all started. It is very interesting. So I started at 7 a.m. Obviously, I have my routine when I always drink the tea and the shake and the aloe. I do my meditation and, and my music and my mantra and all these things that are in place. And I did them all. However, this time was no food. So I had no food whatsoever, only water. So the morning felt like a little bit different. Obviously, I had some stomach rumbling because your body, my body is adjusted to eating often. I trained my body like anything else you would train. My body's trained. I want food. So I had the rumbling of the stomach. Mm, and, 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 and during my meditation, I felt it. And I'm like, okay, this will be interesting. Because again, I've done, I have not done fasting like this. I only did reduced eating and I had jello before my surgeries. Like I had the vein removal. I had my, uh, <clears throat> I had also the hernia repair surgery. I had, uh, that was the all day long fasting when they prepared for me. Or if, even if you do like colon cleanse or anything like this, or t t testing your colon is the same thing. You need to empty the bowels. And sorry, we talk about it, but we talk, no excuses. It's all about being transparent, guys. So it's all about us having that better mindset and not be afraid to say things and speaking your truth. And, and so... So this was interesting. I was going through my morning routine and then I had to go to the gym. So I made my pre-workout. In My pre-workout normally would be some kind of a protein, which is beverage mix from Herbalife that I always drink. And that would be like the pre-workout that will stop my hunger so my body can concentrate on lifting weights and doing cardio. I got to the gym and I started drinking the pre-workout. And let me tell you, this day I tried something different. I added, of course, I did not have protein. I added the uh, the bank powder and bang is pretty strong has over 300 um, milligrams of caffeine and I felt it in a few minutes of drinking it because I was empty so I started doing the the weight training and out of nowhere guys the headache hits me and it hits me so strong to the point that it's just pounding headache and I'm thinking, okay, I don't have any tablets with me, any pills with me. I can't continue with the workout because as we know, the blood will be pumped more and the headache will increase. Knowing how my headaches are, I had to step away from the workout, drive back home, take some painkillers and go back out again. So look how my day started that day. So it was extra energy, <clears throat> but it was okay. So... Uh, I was, I was fine, right? I went to the gym later that day, around 12 o'clock. I started different way with cardio. I felt good. I felt normal. I had no signs of being dizzy. Felt great. Did my lifting without any coughing because I didn't finish the drink because it had not the, good, the best effects on me. So uh, I was totally on empty. And listen to this. This is a pretty funny stuff. Went to sauna, went for 15 minutes, and about not even 10 minutes in, 
and I'm closing my eyes and I'm dozing off in sauna. Never had that before. Never in my life that I would fall asleep in sauna, guys. So have you ever had a situation that you fall asleep in sauna? Because I never did. And it was just the point of the energy being lower. So almost fall asleep in that sauna, but felt good. So of course, a lot of hydration was going on throughout this time. And you have to stay hydrated on the fasting. Uh, so I continue doing what I was doing. And this happened around 1 p.m. that day. And during the day, uh, hi, Meryl, and I see you guys joining in. And during the day, how did I fight the uh, uh, overall feeling hunger? So all these, all these, the awareness that I achieved during the day was pretty amazing because I would, I would pick those moments when the stomach was rumbling and, 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 and then you realize it's like the signals are being sent, but you can bottle them by drinking water and saying, you know what? I am here for that reason. This is my challenge. I can do this. The belief, guys, the belief. And that's what I want to underline with everything that you do. No, if you coming to do something in your life and you have no belief, you will fail. You have to have your own self-belief that you are capable of figuring things out, that you can do this, that you will do it, and you're going to be fine. So I was just doing the normal thing. I said, okay, it's just the stomach. It's empty. It's sending signals. I'm fine. I feel good. I drink some water. And this hunger will go away. And it was fine. So think about it. Think about your life in general when you have all these moments that you crave stuff. It, it Come to them naturally. Don't force stuff because a lot of times when you force and resist, it goes the opposite. So I went smoothly through the day. I was working, obviously doing my things, creating stuff and, and, and uh, working on the big things. And to the point, I made dinner for everybody and I felt fine. I sat with them at the table and they were all eating and I was not eating. I was just drinking water. And what I had, I had some, uh, some truly nutrition in my water, which was uh, the everyday fit. I did not stimulate myself with coffee or anything like that. I just want my natural energy to be released. And the time was going by. So I saw 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and I feel fine. And I do all these things. And out of nowhere, I see the clock is showing me 7 p.m. And I'm like, okay, it's time to eat. So look, this, <laughs> your brain sends the signals, your body sends the signals. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should go a little longer. Maybe I will survive overnight. But the second thought in my head keeps on telling me, just eat. You've done it, your work. You fine. Just keep on, just eat now. You're hungry. Just eat. Like, look at these thoughts that you have, the awareness that you get. And overall general concentration was amazing. I would be aware of more things uh, in my day that day. It was pretty cool to stay hungry and just connect to my own self and my own body. And, and then out of nowhere, I just grabbed one piece. And you know what I grabbed? A thing that I would never eat because I don't eat pasta. I don't. Pasta is so much carbs and I don't. We keep the low carb, uh, low carb lifestyle when we just eat uh, vegetables. We have some fruits throughout the day. If anything, in the morning, fruits should not be eating in the afternoon. And it's all about your gut and other things. So make sure that if you want to eat them, eat them in the morning. The first thing on an empty stomach is required to eat fruits, but not really during the day. Uh, however, the kids eat them sometimes and it's okay because that's what they want. So I don't need to stress them about it. But I grabbed this piece of that pasta and then I decided, okay, I'm going to eat it. So do you know what happened? Hi, Heather. I got so nauseous. So nauseous, so uncomfortable that I ate this. It was, it was a nausea feeling. It was sick feeling. And I'm going to give you some points if you're ever going to do the fasting. I'm going to give you some points that you should really take a look and do this in a smarter way. So this is my experience. Obviously, your experience can be different. But just let me know if you've done anything like this. I would love to hear from you how you did it. And what were your points? What were your thoughts? How did you go about it? 
but at this point I was done because mentally I checked out. Like I was like, okay, I'm done. That's it. There was no going back. And that was it for this fasting. So the, the point is that you need to be clear. If you're going to do this, obviously always check with your doctor. But the point is that you need to have a clear vision. Like how long you're going to do this? Because when you set yourself for something and then you try to change, like uh, going, you could probably, but I would have to be removed from the food around. Set yourself for winning. Set your, for, so, yourself for success. Not only this and anything that you do. Watch the caffeine intake in this particular situation because caffeine, can, because you're, you're on empty, so probably ideal if I would do that again, I would try to stay away from caffeine, at least something strong like this was because it caused me that headache. And and as, as we know, when you're hungry, a lot of times when you're hungry, when you're deprived from food, you get headaches. Like, think about it. Your body responds to it. That's your body, like, fighting me mechanism, right? Drink lots of water. And when finished, yes, be prepared. Don't grab things that are laying around. Eat uh, vegetables or some smoothies, some fruits. So be prepared for this because that's very important. And when, when I lost my willpower, because the willpower overall uh, is, is triggered by emotions. Like, think about it. This is this is really smart thing to think about it. Anytime that something happens, those are emotions that happen. And, and it's all about how we react to these triggers. Like, what is the response? How are you going to go about it? What are you going to do? You know, um, I would say in this time, if I'm going to extend this to a longer period of time, I would probably do a bath. Like a friend of mine, Kristen, was saying to me, yeah, do the bath and just relax and stay away from uh, people that eat because it's a distraction. It's a distraction. And why we distract it? Because we want to we want to release the discomfort. Discomfort of something. That's what it is. But how I felt awesome the next day, guys. The next day, I felt lighter. There was something different about my body. Something that I have not felt it before. Something was so almost like I felt like somebody reboot my system. Like some something was just recharged me in a weird way. So that was very, very, very interesting experience. I had more energy. I felt more focused. The only thing that I had the same crush the next day about the same time when I start feeling so tired and I almost fall asleep. So I don't know what it was. Happened in sauna and the next day. So, uh, so the drive to relieve discomfort uh, is the root cause of our behavior. So make sure that you take that in. We invite discomfort into our life to experience something, to experience the pleasurable effects of relieving it. So think about it. That's what we do. And, and because I am not satisfied, I am not satisfied with, I, I am satisfied with, with what I achieved. That's great because it was the first time. But I'm dissatisfied to the point to make it better. So think about it, how I'm wording these things. This satisfaction is a power. It's a powerful thing. It's a power we can channel to make things better. This is such a powerful thing. So be dissatisfied only if it propels you to make something better. And it's okay to be that satisfied. Like, like I've done shows and I would be like talking to someone and talking to someone and asking questions I always love the feedback and if somebody tells me you know that would be better if you would have done this way or done this way please yes I'm open for suggestion if uh, I want the feedback and if I word something not the right way or that was not clear 
I want to make it better. We will never have a perfection. It's not about perfection, guys, whatever you do. It's about creating these habits, making them better each time, adding them on, removing some of the ones that we don't want, and just learning through the process. Life is a learning. Like think about like creating your own movie about you, about your own freak self, about you, whoever you are, creating that movie and watching it from the outside eyes on the side. Like, okay, what the chapter is going to be? Am I, is the movie even interesting? Like what's about me? I want to make it interesting. And all of us are interesting. It's just so many of us are not showing it. You live in a shelf. You live like a turtle underneath hiding. You don't want to be a turtle. You may love them. It's great. But don't be all the time the turtle. Show up. Show your true self. Show what you're made of. How you want your life to be. And create those chapters in this awesome movie that you're creating. Like interesting. Because the, the, the time is ticking. And what we have right now, this moment will not, can you imagine that this mom, identical moment will never happen again? How awesome this is. Like, this is the time. So always like being present, trying to be conscious about what we do. I see Melanie is here. Okay, awesome. And, and, and impact the lives that you are around. If you have kids, impact the kids. Be, look at them in the eye. Don't scroll down. Don't scroll on your phone because... If you're scrolling on your phone like this, what do they see? They see the top of your head. That's it, what they see. That's their mommy and daddy. So you don't have kids, it's okay. Impact your friends, be the example, help them achieve something, help someone out there, create something that will help people and show yourself through the creativity because human beings are amazing species that can create things from their mind to the actual physical things. I am always mesmerized by this. I am so like always like, huh, somebody thought about this. What a freaking awesome idea. And look around how many new things coming up. And this is just the beginning, guys. Look how fast life is going right now. Look how how many changes we have. Like anywhere you turn, it's something new. Even with the new phones. Steve just got, I'm getting mine. Samsung has a folded phone right now that folds and open up. But the screen is that modern screen that folds in half. I mean, think about it. 20 years ago, we didn't have anything like this. That were like crazy flip phones. So don't be the last one online. Just go for it. Do what you want to do and live your life on your own terms and create something amazing because you have the power to change. You have the power to impact other people. And that's why I do this, to, to remind you that all of us are amazing and each of us have certain skills and certain amazing qualities that the other one doesn't have. And, and women together should be stronger. They are here. We are here to support ourselves, not to fight against ourselves. We can create something amazing together. And if you are not a girl and a guy want to join the No Excuses Ladies, please might get be my guest because we welcome everyone, everyone here. So, of course, points, make notes. I wanted to see your comments. I wanted to see if you ever done anything like this. What were your thoughts? What are your experiences? How you would go about the next time? Did you fail? Did you succeed? And things like that. And this is good to uh, go back and see this and think about it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope this was a good experience. That was some wow effect on you. And you were like, oh, okay, I can do this. There are some benefits for me. I can do this. So, guys, thank you so much for joining have a no excuses life, no excuses day, no excuses week, and no excuses month.